Now I'm going to say straight away, this card, this 85 rated Rule Breakers Corona looks very, very good on paper. 5 star, 5 star, plenty of good stats. In theory, he should be brilliant, so hopefully all of this translates really nicely in-game. If you need some coins to improve your team, look no further than IG Vault for the cheapest coins on the market, and don't forget to use the code Kieran to get yourself a discount at the checkout. There's a chance to win some free coins just by clicking the link in the description too. Okay, so in comparison to his non-inform item, he has been given a pretty notable boost. His defending is what has been downgraded, but the dribbling's gone up by 3, the pace by 4, the shooting by 9, Teen, physical by three and the passing by four so a very very substantial upgrade on this item in game stats then what are we saying we've already noticed the five star five star that is fantastic couple of traits there but it's the in game stats that i want to see dribbling looks very nice very good agility pretty good composure and that is great to see and the other stats are also very very nice in terms of shooting very good attack positioning and um, decent finishing and shot power for a wide man as well pace looks pretty nice but i think we will look to boost that and the passing a bit more the same pretty nice for this stage of fifa physically aside from the strength he actually looks quite good but that strength is pretty poor, and that probably is going to be a problem. So we're going to have to, you know, try and use his dribbling to the best of our ability to avoid would-be defenders, or he looks like a player who maybe could be dominated um, by opposition defenders. But it's good to see that he's got good stamina, so hopefully can last the full 90 with ease. But like I've already touched on, I think on paper this card looks excellent, and it looks like a card that will be brilliant not just on the wing, but also at cam and maybe even striker. What are we going to do with this card then? Wow, 91 rated in-game with a basic. That is class. Um, 92 rated cam with dead eye and stuff like that. Okay. I'm a, oh, 93 with Maxman. Hello, that looks like a pretty nice card, doesn't it? Like, if you don't want the pace boost, that is an excellent choice for him because it also gives him a nice boost in his strength as well. Like, Maxman might actually be the one for this guy, but I do feel like most people who pick this guy up are probably going to put Hunter on him, which is definitely a very good option as well. Like, Britt makes his pace excellent, and it also gives him some pretty insane shooting stats, and uh, I think that's the chem style we're going to use in this review. But like I've already touched on, if you don't mind the pace already, Maxman looks like a brilliant option for him. Eventually, we get into a game, and we face a Premier League slash Bundes hybrid. Not bad. Inatale links up with Corona, it's a good ball through the middle, plenty of space now, can we time the shot? Yeah, well we didn't even time it, it still ends up in the back of net, brilliant start, on debut Corona hits the back of the net, nice, good take on there by Corona, whips the ball into the box, oh sadly, a bit too close to the keeper, Inatale whips the ball in, oh I just couldn't quite win that battle with Davis then, that's a shame, there's a chance, we go along with the through ball, Corona in pursuit and he's doing, I, I know he didn't win that, oh wow he's done enough, I know he didn't win that battle ultimately against Davies there, but he put up a good fight against a very pacey player there. There's a chance. Good run in behind. Brilliant run in behind. Keepers off his line. Do we go early? Do we go early? No, we don't. We wait. And I, Botto, should have gone for the near post there. Nice. Great goal. He feels good on the ball. He really, really does feel nice with possession. Two goals to the good at the break, thanks to Corona, who has had a very good opening 45. We got a third goal, and my opponent found the exit. Thought Corona was excellent in that match. Uh, really, really did take advantage of his like, flu uh, like just ability on the ball. He felt really, really fluid, which was nice. And uh, as you can see, does have a decent bit of output about him as well. So uh, let's see uh, what awaits him in the next match. Let's go then. Okay, couple of rule breakers in this team: Gundo and Trent. Brower. Into some space for Corona, who he's going to get round. Joe Gomez, oh, done really, really well. Oh, the pass just wasn't quite where we wanted it, or at least just didn't have the power to get through. Did really well to keep possession, though. Oh, I was not expecting him to win that. I was just quiet because I wasn't expecting him to win it. Brilliant. Okay, half time in this one. Davies has done all right. It's been a tough game. The uh, opposition is much better than what we faced in previous. Now for the second half, we are going to make a change. We are going to put Corona into the cam role, but this isn't similar to Kulosevsky where it's because his positioning isn't good. I'm doing this on purpose because I think Corona would make for a very good cam, especially with that 5-star, five 5-star. Five oh, still going. Still going, Corona. Tight angle. Oh, I thought I'd go for it and we've scored in the end. Well, that's one way to respond. 
Love that. Oh, what a way that would have been to end this game. That would have been insane. Denied by the bar. 3-2 victory in this one against a pretty good opposition, so uh, I'm happy with that. Corona, once again, feeling very, very good with possession, and it's really pleasing to see him hit the back of the net twice in this game as well, and it would have been such a good way to get his hat-trick had he scored that volley at the end. Another outing, and another pretty good team, Mbappe and Messi in this one. Dina Tal has actually done really well to get us into space there, and here goes... Corona, loads of space for him to run into. Can he find the man at the back stick? You bet he can, and that is 1-1. One, one. This is a nice attack. Oh, Corona, great touch. Takes a shot. Oh, I should have timed it. That's my bad, but a uh, good effort nonetheless. Yes, love that. Just absolutely mixed. Alba, I'm looking for that run. Have I gone a bit too early? Oh, it's not a bad ball, you know. Tell you what, Corona is causing Alba all sorts of problems down this wing. Nice. Good bit of play here. Back on the inside. Oh, it would have been a great goal. And ironically, he's just taken Alba off. That's kind of funny. Davis had to join the attack here. Has a chance to whip it in. We'll go for that back post where Corona is. And there's a goal again. He's actually scored a decent amount of headers, to be fair to him. Jungberg whips it into the back stick again. Corona is there. Almost gets himself an assist. There is half time. We lead at the break 2 1 thanks to goals from Corona and also a nice assist from Alfonso. Yeah, Tyler. Puts it through for Corona, who's got Kimpembe to beat. Oh, is he going to get a correct chance here? Oh, off balance. That is unfortunate. Nice from Corona. Linking in Dina Tyler. Good bit of play, and that's the game wrapped up. Good positioning to follow the play, and a tidy finish around the keeper. I've got to tell you, this does feel like a good win against a very, very decent opponent. Okay, game's done. Let's talk about this 85 rated item. And I'm going to say straight away, it's very good. It's not just a good card either. It's a fun item to use, which occasionally these cards do come along, which they're not just good in game, but they're also fun to try out. And this is exactly one of those cards, similar to Marko Arnautovic in Rule Breakers at Team 1. I like this card a lot. And to be honest, there's nothing I can really say is horrendous about this card. Like the strength isn't great and that can impact him. But other than that, it's a very good item, and I do recommend trying this guy out. I know he's not the easiest player to get into teams, but if you can get him in, I'm telling you, he'll do a very nice job for you. Alternatively, could be a very, very good super sub option. So what did I like? Pace was brilliant. Acceleration was very, very nice. And straight off the bat, straight on the 10, he does feel really, really fluid, which is fantastic. Positionally, excellent. Made some really, really good runs for me, and that made him very easy to use. And his goal scoring ability is pretty damn good for a wide man as well. So really happy with that area of his game. His passing's decent as well for this stage of the game. I don't think it's excellent, but it's good enough for right now. And you could use him in that camera roll if you wanted to do so. I actually really did like him in that position, especially in second halves. And that's because the dribbling was, it just felt really nice in this guy. He just felt really fluid, very easy to control. And if you are good at dribbling, I'm telling you, you will get a lot out of this card, especially if you're good at skill moves as well, which is something that I really need to start learning. And um, this guy, it just, it just feels really nice on the ball. And because of that, you can attack very, very easily with him. The only issue with this card, like I've already touched on, is the strength. So you've got to be a decent dribbler just to avoid those defenders. And if you do, You'll have fun with this card because, as I say, in space, he's absolutely brilliant. And he does actually feel very, very quick as well. Now, one thing I have to touch on is this guy's aerial ability. Now, just because I scored a couple of headers with him, I'm not going to say he's brilliant in the air. But he's surprisingly better than you would think. And I've got to give him credit because not only did he win aerial duels, he also scored from them as well. Which, you can't say that for a lot of players in this game. So, very, very pleased with that aspect of this card. But, the overall verdict is, it's a very good item. And for an 85 overall, I do think he's brilliant. And... Like I said at the start, not just a good item in game, but also a fun item too. And I think that does add value to a card. So all in all, very, very good card and is worth a pickup if you can fit him in, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, great card and definitely one that I would not mind having untradeable just to have on my bench going forward. Because as I say, I do think he would make a terrific super sub. Anyway, those are my thoughts on this item. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like rating on it. Any questions, pop them down below. In the middle of the screen, you can click for some more player reviews over on the right you can check out some player rankings and over on the left you can find out who is in the latest team of the week thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one